Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess of Bahati Life. If you don't know, thank you so much for tuning in. So I think it was about two to three weeks ago, I shared a message with you, a vision, a prophecy that it was that I had. And I had a feeling that there would be another one or a series or a sequence of messages that would come through and it was not my place to force these messages, but to allow it to happen, allow it to unfold. And this morning during my meditation, I had so much clarity. In fact, as I'm talking to you now, I'm getting such a strong sense, like a strong boost of energy that's supporting me sharing this message with you now, even though as I'm sharing it, as I'm beginning to share it, I don't fully, I haven't fully grasped the magnitude or the details of this message. And sometimes that's just, that's just how it is for me that if I speak on it, if I speak it out, it becomes more clear and more the more of the pieces of the puzzle start to fall together. So let me just go ahead and dive in and if it sounds kind of confusing or discombobulated, I apologize, but that's kind of my method, that's kind of my way, but usually it ends up making sense. So in my meditation, I wanna start by saying I saw the image of a cowrie shell and Basically what I saw with this is two things. Number one, this this vibe of receiving, but also protection and also protecting what is valuable before you receive just anything. And as I sat with that, as I looked at that, I see and I felt the sense of the divine, this divine creator, whether you wanna call it God, the universe, whoever, holding this carry shell and protecting it and saying, to you to protect anything that would come into this shell, anything that would make itself a home in this shell. Now the carry shell, you can do with it what you will with that message. I, I really encourage a lot of you guys, most of you guys to do the research and to look into the, what the carry shell might mean for you. But I can say quickly here that it's been used for like um, money, like a currency, but also it represents it could really represent feminine energy, goddess energy, but also it's very similar to the yoni, so it's what it is that we're able to receive. So already that made a lot of sense for me initially. The thing is, is that this message applies on a spiritual, emotional, more of that level than physical and mental as far as what it is that you're receiving. And I really am getting the strong sense that each one of you, or you in particular, whoever's watching this video now, you had a prophecy or a vision of over your life. And you have received a, a clear sign, and I'm getting a really strong sense that it was like one strong, one strong clear feeling or message that this is a prophecy for you, that this is something that is written in the stars for you, written in your chart, or given to you by the divine. It's my belief that those things, um, they weave into each other, they're, that they're not separate from each other. But that's a topic for another conversation when it comes to my beliefs. Um, so there's this vision, this prophecy, and that's a gift. The fact that you received that clarity, the fact that you received that feeling, that strong sense in your heart, in your spirit, that this is something that is for you, that is written for you, that that is the biggest that's one of the biggest blessings i believe that we can receive within our life almost bigger than the gift of pure health or perfect health almost bigger than the gift of love it's the fact that there is a purpose because to me it's connected immediately to the creator and why we're all here is to fulfill the creator's purpose for our lives and it's so unique it's so uniquely each and our like it's so uniquely our own we may have similar prophecies, we may have similar paths, we may have um, similar um, purposes or things that we are to receive within this life, but they, they vary. Each one of them varies, even if they're similar. And that's where it gets tricky. So the divine, there's almost a sense, I'm gonna call it the, the divine creator now, um, or the divine for short, but there's this sense of irritation. Irritation is not the right word because I'm also getting this infinite sense of compassionate patience with you. But there's a sense of um, irritation when you are given something, a vision, a feeling, a dream, and it's known to be yours. It is so clearly yours. It is so destined to be yours. 
And instead of that being enough, you have you run and you look for signs and synchronicities because it's almost like an addiction that you have to keep hitting this this high of confirm it for me, confirm it for me, confirm it for me. And to the point where the vision itself, the original vision that you received, this dream, this prophecy, this feeling, now is no longer important to you. Now you have to keep finding these methods. You keep having to find these messages to support the original message that was given to you by the divine creator. And that's where the irritation comes through because spirit is saying like, was it not enough what it was that I gave you? And I'm not going to confirm for you any longer, any more, any larger than the original me message and prophecy that it was I gave to you the first time. The first time was enough. And what happens is, and I have to go back to the cowrie shell. So the, the creator holds that. This, this cowrie shell is a metaphor. It's a symbol. The creator holds that. And, and says, I'm going to protect it. I'm going to hold it. And you need to protect it. And you need to hold it. Because what I gave to you was the biggest gift of your life. That's the one one of many visions that it is that I will give to you. That you, I want you to hold on to it and believe it. No matter what the circumstances are. No matter what the obstacles are. No matter how much tumultuous your life may seem. No matter how impossible it seems. I, I said it was so. And you knew it. You knew it when you sensed it the first time. You felt it. And you knew it was so. And it becomes a problem when you look for validation to support the original message because the original message was enough. If you look back in the time, like throughout history, there is usually one major message that comes through, a prophecy that comes through for, for a particular person. And they don't look for additional signs to support something. It could be years. They don't look for signs to, to support the original thing. A lot of people step out in faith. And when that faith is tested, they go into their prayer. They go into their meditation. And they say, help me. Help me. That's what the divine is saying for you is to not look for information as i'm saying this i'm i'm like getting a ringing in my ear but to not look for um information to support the original message that was given to you if you are to do anything it is to receive and if you're going to receive let it be from source source is connected to your heart it's connected to your your uh solar plexus from your third eye to your crown chakra. That is where you should be pulling from. It shouldn't be these outside factors. Even looking for synchronistic events, they are going to always be small and trivial compared to the original prophetic messages that you received. If you are listening to this message now and you were called to it, I do not feel like you are abandoned in this message. I do not feel like you for, you are forgotten or overlooked in this message. If anything, I'm getting chills. If anything, there's this call to, for you to go into your meditation and speak to spirit, to speak to the higher source, to speak to the, high, the, the higher self within you and ask for that prophetic message because you will receive it. There's this really strong irritation that Spirit has right now that is very controversial because there's a lot of people who are coming out and sharing their own messages, sharing their own word and shuffling cards and doing all these things, which is fine. I'm doing it as well. Don't get me wrong. No one is being punished or penalized, but there comes a point where you have to protect the prophecy. You have to protect the vision. You have to protect that feeling that was yours. And when you get when wires start to cross because you're looking for synchronistic messages and signs to confirm what you already knew from day one, from the gist, from the start, that was so. That is the biggest blessing and gift of your life is to receive that message so clearly, either as a feeling through your dreams or whatever. It is time for you to go back to your meditation and go into complete faith to completely surrender, to not have to ask m mortals, human beings, to confirm something that spirit told you and that your spirit told you was so. It, it, that's when wires start getting crossed. That's when information starts, getting ble starts bleeding in. That's when you have like watercolor energy. Instead of it being clear, clearly defined and saying that this is mine, you start taking truths from other people who have not received the same message as you. Half of these people you don't even know, and yet you're allowing them to dictate the energy of your life simply because you're absorbing the message. That is huge. 
it's you have to remember that you are a divinely created and you are so powerful you are powerful in your connection because it's in your connection you can do absolutely anything when you have that feeling it that feeling alone will surpass any obstacle you have to believe that there for example there have been many times where women who are supposed to be the weaker um you know the weaker variation of like humankind you know what i mean like men are considered physically strong and of course because they have that physical strength they're larger whatever but there have been many times throughout history where a woman or an older an elderly person or whoever where something happens like a, there's a car crash or someone is hurt and the force of love alone the force of their will they will lift the car up and pull out how do you lift a car they will lift a car up using the force of their will alone, the strength of their power, the strength of their mind, the strength of their heart to do the impossible, to do something that matches their will. That is the same thing that needs to happen for you. And the only way that that can happen is if you feel it. And these feelings that you're getting, these small feelings, they're temporary. When, when I say these feelings, it's when you go to these outside sources, when you shuffle the cards. I'm not saying that tarot is wrong. You guys know I shuffle tarot all the time. I'm not saying that astrology is wrong. I sh I, I'm constantly pulling cards. I'm constantly pulling cards and charts. But they're only a tool. They're a mere tool. It's the feeling, that sense within you that is limitless power. I believe that the divine creator gives us many tools to work with in order to fulfill this prophecy, in order to fulfill this purpose for our life. But they are only tools, they are not everything. And when we rely on that, we are no longer falling and relying on our power or pulling from the power of our feeling from our heart. And then our power is limited because we are confined to only this one thing. The same thing comes through, comes, comes, the same thing happens with the message that is that we're receiving and what we allow to speak life into our lives. We'll take this, this message, we'll have this major moment, maybe it could be a month, like a month of really powerful feelings that we received from this one message that we're just like, oh my God, this is mine. This is everything that is that I've been waiting for. I can't believe, I, I can't believe that this is going to be what it is that I receive. I can't believe that this is going to happen. You know, I'm just so excited. No one can tell me anything. And then over the time, as, as weeks pass by or days pass by, and you're kind of neglecting your spiritual health, you're, you're neglecting your spiritual practice, your faith and your conviction in that vision starts to diminish because you, you were so strong in the moment, but you have to exercise that muscle. You have to continue to exercise that muscle through your meditation, through your prayer, through your journaling, through your intention. Um, and then if God forbid, God forbid, literally, if you start sharing that message, that prophecy, that vision with other people, even if it's your best friend, even if it's your family, and they don't have that same enthusiasm as you, because how could they? That message was not for them. It was for you. So of course, it's not going to strike truth and ring truth to them as it does for you, because that is your message. Then that starts to diminish the, the feeling and then ultimately the power of this message, this prophecy that was written over your life. So you have to be really careful about you relying so heavily on these outside sources to confirm things that you know within your spirit are true. I'm also getting a sense of, back to the cowrie shell, that um, that's like the most important form of currency. Is It's a word that's bigger than faith and I don't have a word for it yet. I've never heard of a word that's bigger than faith, but it is, it's like faith but larger. It's something that is so divinely appointed over your life. It's something that will be seen to fruition. Like it will be seen despite the obstacles, despite the unsurmountable odds. I'm also getting the sense that, you know, the, the, the divine is holding this shell. And it is so important. It is so valuable. It is so treasured. And I don't want to say put on reserve, but it's protected from being in your hands at the wrong place at the wrong time or being in anyone else's hands at the wrong place at, at the wrong time. So it's almost held here. And then when you are ready to receive it, when you're strong, then you will receive it. And basically what happens is in order for you to get 
prepared for this for you to receive it you there's aspects of you that have to change there's aspects of you that have to be strengthened there's aspects of you that need to be made strong that need to be made whole it's not that you are incomplete it's just that you want you're you're working with potential as i'm saying this there's a good chunk of you, I just got the number like 30% of you that are more that are working with more than potential, you are actually ready. The rest of you guys are working with potential at varying levels of, okay, I am ready. You know what I mean? So maybe there's like 15% more change that needs to happen or adjustment that needs to happen or faith that needs to happen in order for you to be like fully ready to receive this shell, this gift. And this cowrie shell, it literally is like this prophecy, this vision, it could be the family life, it could be um, you living your purpose, it could be this trip, it could be this lifestyle, whatever. Whatever it is, this thing that your heart truly, truly wants, that you had received confirmation that it is that it is so. It could have been years ago. But what ends up happening is that over time, when you originally felt the message, when you originally saw the shell and you were like, oh my God, this is mine. No one's going to take this from me. You were so strong in your conviction. You were so strong in your feeling. But over time, years, you might not have heard the same message that you heard years ago. And it starts to make you question. It starts to make you wonder, is that it? There could have been a series of incredible blessings and incredible things that you saw through. Incredible things that you went through. And that, that came to fruition. But then there's this like one thing that still hasn't. Or there's this aspect of it that still hasn't manifested and you're like, wait, it's been years. Is that it? Like, if this is it, I would be grateful for it all. But if I'm being honest with the divine, if I'm being honest with myself, I would say that I would want more. And is it wrong for me to want more? And spirit says, no, it's for you to want more because I'm not through with you yet. There is more that I have in store for you. And I don't want you to take this journey and you to see it and look at it and feel as though that is everything that you are going to receive because I have so much more in store for you and it has everything to do with the, with the, the, the thing that it is that you've been wanting the very most. I don't want you to look at this journey, look at this process and say that that is it. No, we are continuing on. And we want to protect you and protect your vision, but I can't do that if you're constantly seeking validation from human sources that don't have the same vision and prophecy as you. There's no way that they could connect with you in the way that I can. So come back to me so I can give to you more. And the only thing that you can ask, I say that specifically, the only thing that you can ask for now is for through your meditation through your prayer is feeling that feeling again of confirmation of strength of peace that no matter how long it would take and for many of you guys time is time irritates you more than anything because you you can see all the time and the energy that you put in just to get this far but no matter how much time and energy it would take to move forward with this thing manifesting in its life manifesting in your life you know it just that you have peace in it, that you are still strong in your conviction, that you are guided away from messages that would take away from the power of your feeling. This comes from, you know, booking tarot readings, booking, you know, seeking, like seeking a prof prophetic message, really striving for it, really struggling to receive it. If you have to struggle for anything, you don't, that's not the right thing including prophetic messages, including visions, including, okay, I'm seeing 11, 11, 2, 2, 2, all of those things. There's, those are, they're like a tiny teardrop. And they, if they are to, to support you, it would only be temporary. It wouldn't even last. It would never hit as strong and as true as the prophetic message did the first time it is that you received it. Go back to that moment and remember that nothing has changed. The only thing that has truly changed is you because you have evolved. You're becoming better. You're coming close. You're becoming closer to it. You're coming closer to it. Even experience of loss, major loss, significant loss within your life that you would have never even experienced has all been a part of this journey. That's not something that you have to hold on in guilt or in shame and just and look at it and be like, well, damn, did I do this? This was done for you. And there's so much of what it is that you, you can't see that 
is so perfect even though it may come with pain even though it may can't come with suffering or confusion i'm also getting a sense of um the same vision that it was that you had years ago or months ago for a lot of you guys it's been years um it feels like it won't come into play and but when it when it first came to you it literally powered you for years like this could be over 10 years of you sitting with this with this vision already so if you're watching this video now it could have been eight years seven years six years five years of since you received the message the first time and this is where you're at now is almost like i don't want to say that you're defeated because a defeated person no longer has faith but it's like you know, that same excitement, that same enthusiasm that people knew you for in the very beginning is starting to diminish. And it's because it's been a, it's been quite a long journey. It's not that you are giving up on faith because your faith is still there, but your faith has been tested. Your faith in yourself, your faith in your, your purpose and what you felt was strongly for you, um, your faith in your ability to manifest, your faith within yourself, all of this has been really truly tested when you started off and you received this message when you started off it felt it gave you enough power to power you through the three years to come to the point where someone would say something a family member a friend would say something and you would be like they would kind of be like negative but at the same time they were watching you and looking at you because they were like this person has so much faith it'll be interesting to see how it manifests and on your end you were looking at it and you were like I'm gonna show them because I know this is true for me so I'm gonna show them and this is going to help to give them faith as well like it can only be beneficial for me to receive all of what it is that I saw for myself because it's going to encourage them to do the same and then years go by, years go by, years go by, years go, go by. Incredible highs and incredible lows. All of those things, that journey. And you start to walk a little slower. You start to need to take more breaks. You start to need to sleep more because you're starting to get tired. You're starting to be drained in some way. And again, it's not that you are defeated in when it comes to this fulfillment of this prophecy of your life. It's just that, again, because a defeated person wouldn't have faith, it's almost like you'll see something or the moment where you just feel like, okay, you know, I'm starting to give up. That's when you'll see like a sign or a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel that keeps you kind of going and, you know, sparks a little bit more enthusiasm, but it's not nearly as much as, as enthusiasm it was in the very beginning of your journey. I, I am getting a sense of um, time like some of you guys it could be nine months or six months time but it's literally in that six to nine months you have gone through what a lot of people have gone through what other people have gone through in six to nine years like it could really like time is nothing but it's everything if that makes any sense. And then for others of you guys, it could have been like 10, 15 years, but it feels like months because that's how, how much has happened. If you look back at it, you'd be like, I would never have guessed that that was 13 years. It feels like it could have been two the most. Like, but it's just, it just goes by in a blink of an eye. There's so much that has happened. Like you are not the same person. And I really get this strong sense right now to share this last piece with you, which is, all of that, all of that journey had to happen in order to help you to be prepared and to become ready. It's not even whole, but in order for, you know, for you to be ready to receive this major blessing. And the best thing that you can do right now is to go back into your meditative space, go back to your prayer, go back to your vision board, go back to your intention and revisit it and strengthen that feeling again and block out any noise that distracts you or tells you otherwise or doesn't give you that same feeling. It has to come from you, it has to pull from source. So if that means that you have to disconnect from the world for a week or a month or whatever it is that you need in order to reconnect back to that vision that it was that you had for yourself initially, years or months ago, um, just to connect back with that feeling again and to connect back with source, let it be so. Let that be the next step. Maybe that's why you're watching this video right now is because you've been on this road for quite some time and you needed to hear it in order to know what to do next. 
And the biggest thing that I'm getting a sense of right now very strongly is, you know, literally all you need is sometimes nothing in order to get everything. And that means that you don't need all these additional sources. You don't need all these additional things in order to connect with source. It could be a walk in the park. It could be sitting by the lake. It could be dunking yourself in the ocean and holding your breath under the water and just for as long as you can and just surrendering to the process, surrendering to the journey, surrendering to spirit and saying, I'm not going to fight you anymore. I'm not going to fight anything anymore. I remember this vision that you gave to me. I remember this feeling that it is that I had. I remember this thing that, you know, I've always wanted in my heart and you know I want it. I surrender to my need to, to push and to look for clarification and confirmation for things that I know in my spirit, I know in my heart I want. And I'm going to allow you to carry me there. And then when you come up, take a deep breath of fresh air and realize that there is renewal in that. That is the biggest word I feel like that we can actually pull from this message right now is renewal. There's a sense of in the nothingness, you're going to get everything. It's going to feel like you've been having your chest like wrapped up all this time so tightly and finally you're free and you're able to take this huge breath of fresh air. It's new life. It's renewal. And now that you are here watching this video now, spending this time with me right now, which is a blessing, it's such a gift, in this space of renewal that you're at right now, reconnect back to the vision create the vision board create the feeling write that letter of intent directly to source and say connect back to that feeling of what it is that you really want for yourself with no shame no guilt and completely surrender to the process of allowing yourself to get lost in that feeling again to get lost in your faith to get excited for the future because this is yours this thing, this cowrie shell, is yours. And you're ready to receive it. So, thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. I want to set intention of strength over your life. And clarity and purpose and vision. I want to set the intention that spirit work through you. Um, to protect you, to guide you, to nourish you, to fulfill you. Um that your steps moving forward, that they be so strong, that they be so clear, that they move from a space of love. I want to speak the intention that, um, you know, the, the impossible, what you think is impossible now, that it be made possible. I want to set the intention that you don't need to have confirmation for things that is that you already know. It's just this feeling that stays within you. I want to set the intention that if anything, that there be one thing whether it be a, a quartz, whether it be a mantra, or a dot on the wall that whenever you see it, you, it's a reminder that yes, 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 yes. This is mine, that's all I need. This is just a reminder of what it is that I know and this is all that I need, I don't need anything else. Yeah. I think that that's it. I set the intention that you hear, that you're able to hear it, that you're open to hearing, and that you commit back to your practice, your spiritual practice, your meditative practice, your prayer practice, or whatever it is, that you, you go back to that, and that you connect back to that, and that you pull from that. Because again, that is all that you need. Okay, my loves, I'm going to let you go in peace. Um, feel free, absolutely, to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. Definitely where it comes to messages like this because I just feel like there's another one coming. You know when you're sneezing or when you sneeze and you know you're going to sneeze again? That's I feel like at some point I'm going to sneeze again and it's going to be another message quite similar to this one. It is not my place to force it. It's just my place to receive it right now and it is what it is. So make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel if you feel called to. Um, go ahead and hit this thumbs up button if you like this message and or you can hit the thumbs down button if you didn't. That's fine. Um, but absolutely word of mouth is everything so feel free to share with your community with your friends or someone that while you were listening to this message that you thought of um, because they should receive it as well as confirmation and clarity from what they've been feeling and experiencing until then I'll see you in my next one bye